start off with something a little on the quieter side of life.
Through the old oak tree, the leaves are falling around your face. Sinking heart of yours. The only things out of place. Never see it coming. 
over a trusting shoulder. Daily regime 
The late night graveyard shift dampens your dreams Bitten by desire and the spell Leaves you stranded out on the other side of town You are listening to Calexico, live at the Stork Club, and we're going to be joining Joey Burns in uh, the Live Music Salon for an interview just as soon as he uh, dismounts. Joey Burns on guitar and vocals, John Convertino on drums, Volker Zander on the upright bass. Martin Venk on the trumpet and nylon acoustic guitar and melodica, and John Birdsong on the coronet. Mr. Jesse Cannon at the mixing board. Thank you, Jesse. And uh, thanks to Meg at Touch and Go Records for helping us set up the thing. We just heard five songs played by Calexico live in our studio, and they were in order Stinging Nettle, Over Your Shoulder, The Ride Part Two. Stray, and Gilbert. Okay, and, uh, and we'll be back with Joey Burns in just a moment. Okay. Okay, we're, uh, we're trying to get the right mineral water for Joey. Uh, Joey insisting on the right mineral water before we begin the interview. So um, They're throwing big star fits, hurling their equipment around the room, and uh, they insist on uh, the right refreshments. And so we're going to arrange the M&M bowl and uh, go out for some, some, uh, some real Pellegrino in the imported stuff, the good stuff and come back with that interview a little bit later and we'll let them play some more tunes. Okay, so we're in the middle of that set that we're talking about. Here's another tune and here they are again live in the studio, Calexico.
grief He said his goodbyes to a family of friends Got his things in a rusty car and rode off in the rain Came upon a church in run with an old man dwelling within Dream, my friend. Spoke of me and his lost and without name Never shifted from their worn and weathered space What was found in the endless search for truth behind the tale Beneath the ash and ember lies only one story to tell Where you stray, my friend Darkness for the daylight I said watch where you stray my
crows in a cave So lovely to see the need not be saved If ever this blossom wither and die Leave the darkness for the day Distance, sleep in city shine. Gilbert raises his mask to take a look. Slips from the perch, still holding onto his torch. I see him falling like a burning star. It lost control. Mm, 
drifting way off course Waking up confused in a bed of thorn in a world turned upside down. No questions asked, no parties ever searched. Like a blip, Gilbert slips into the void. A rustle nearby, then a vision appears Made from swallow boots and rib She grabs a hold of his prickly hand Then together they stand They walk on through the ruins of a world They lost control Drifting way off course Calexico and a song called Gilbert playing live for us in the studio and uh, going to do a uh, have a little discussion with Joey Burns I must say that this performance was taped and we're listening back to it on tape don't miss this exciting interview coming up between me and Joey Burns where Joey Burns asked me to tell my story about my trip to the Southwest, uh, my, my my trip to Arizona. So I told the story about Arizona. It was only after the interview that it occurred to me that there was absolutely no point to my story 
Okay, well, there was one point to my story. The point to my story is it was hot. So when you listen to me talking about Arizona, and when you listen to this story that goes absolutely nowhere, remember that what I meant was it was real hot. And that's all I had to say about Arizona. People from Arizona probably really think you suck when that's all you can find to say about their home state. Oh, it's hot. Got to the airport, it was very, very hot. But anyway, the, uh, the band will be taking a rest, and Joey and I will have our little conversation in just a moment. You are listening to Live at the Stork Club on WFMU Freeform Radio, and we have our new summer schedule being unveiled, and I'm uh, happy to say that the Stork Club will be on this summer in its accustomed spot from Sunday 7 to 9, surrounded by my buddies Dave Mandel coming on before me from 5 to 7, and Fabio from 9 to 11. And this year on our schedule, we have something coming up new on Sunday night. We've been treated to midnight matinee for the last eight months or so, but for the summer, we have something new coming on Sunday nights at 11 p.m. I know this is kind of late on a Sunday for those of you who have to work the next day, but we're going to be doing this great, great series tapes uh, that we're getting from England. The series is called London Underground, and it starts a week from, uh, two weeks from tonight. London Underground will be an hour-long program from 11 till midnight every Sunday, and uh, it's from the folks at Resonance Magazine in London and the London Musicians Collective. Each week, the uh, London Musicians Collective will present uh, different hosts from experimental and improv music scenes all over the world and uh, lots of great interviews and live performances and other segments from the vast archives of the collective. They've been storing this stuff up for years and just incredible stuff for the experimental music lover in you. We have interviews with Faust, Thurston Moore, John Tilbury, Zentos Jones, who is also known as El Vogue of the Homosexuals, and Le Di Diabolique. This is a, just a partial list that you're hearing. There's loads and loads. Evan Parker, Charles Hayward, I imagine Derek Bailey. I know he's involved loosely with this group. So there's lots and lots of great, great people, and it's going to be every Sunday night at 11 o'clock. Very exciting. New programming from Made Possible... Uh, by the folks over there at Resonance Magazine in London. So all new stuff and some of your old musical heroes will be coming to life on your radio. And if you want to find out what's going on at WFMU, uh, there's a page that, uh, on, our, on our webpage, there's a category called Upcoming Special Programs. So if you, for the really the first time, the station has an easy to read calendar of what's coming up. Very simple, live music, interviews, uh, live benefits that we have going on around town and all that stuff. We have a live benefit coming up on the 26th of June. It's a little early, I think, to talk about it this week, isn't it? Well, maybe we'll, we'll get to mention it later. But what I'm trying to say is, go to the website, wfmu.org, and click the Upcoming Special Programs box, and up will come this thing, and uh, you can read it real easy. You can see what you might want to tape at home in terms of live music and uh, interviews and lots of people doing live music at the station. you got Dorian's Green Room and all that whole thing. And uh, if we have DJs spinning out in public, we'll try to fit some of that stuff on, too. Another thing that's going on at the station is the public exhibition that we were doing over at Barmacy is now over. We're not going to do that anymore. We have canceled that series. But thank you for coming out, everybody. Um, we will no longer be doing our Thursday night stint at Barmacy. Uh, we hope to do something like that in the future and have DJs spinning out there. I'm sure it will happen again uh, in a new space and uh, it was really fun, but it's over. 
Okay. So we did have some pharmacy dates scheduled. They are not in effect. Do not go to pharmacy expecting to see an FMU DJ anymore. Yeah, here's that benefit concert. Our uh, Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, Rusty, you're right. We're running overtime here, so we'll talk about the Benefit concert a little bit later. We'll talk about what's coming up this week on the show and like that. We're going to get to our interview with Joey Burns in a second. First, a couple of ticket giveaways for you coming up at Tonic. Oh, I love Tonic. What a great way to spend your summer nights. The new club on the Lower East Side of Manhattan with very, very good coffee and food and comfortable places to sit. Great, great music. Reasonable prices. One of the best new music places in town in many, many years. And this summer, John Zorn is putting together the schedule for June. It's really great. I have a pair of tickets to see Susie Ibarra, who was just featured in the New York Times, you know, a couple of weeks ago, with Asif Sahar. Susie Ibarra and Asif Sahar at Tonic. Thursday, the 17th at 10 p.m. That's this coming Thursday. I got a pair of free uh, tickets to see that. Or the same night at the Brooklyn Anchorage. This is the underneath the Brooklyn Bridge, inside the Brooklyn Bridge Anchorage. Uh, great, incredible space. If you've never seen it, you should go and see it. There's a DJ scene Aruni going on this Thursday from 9 p.m. until 1 a.m. with Jaga. Khan, DJ E's, Ming, and FS. These are all, I can only assume, pajama-clad, soul-patch, sporting young kids, uh, scratching in the thing to, with the records. And, uh, very much fun going to see a show at the Brooklyn Anchorage, so you can have a pair of tickets to see that this Thursday night for free, or that show at Tonic, Susie Ibarra and Asif Sahar. Your choice. Call me. 201-200-WFMU. 201-200-WFMU for the free tickets. Okay. Joey's got his sparkling water. And I'm clutching my teddy bear. Here I go into the room to have a little chit-chat with Joey Burns. So just sit tight. Okay. How neat. So, Joey... It's a store. Why do you think that you should get this job? <laughs> <coughs> now, I have a pad and um, a pen, and Joey's sitting in front of me. Joey Burns of Calexico. Hello, Stork. So, um, you. really, I already hired him, so, you know, <laughs> it's just to break the tension a little bit. He's got the job. He's got the job. You guys are really beautiful. You're not so bad looking yourself. <laughs> this is a nice room, and uh, you guys are really sounding really good in it, and thanks for coming. Thank you it's for having us. Really, uh, it's beautiful. Thanks and for turning uh, off the AC. Yeah, yeah, we had to do it for you because you guys are from Tucson. H hell itself, Tucson, Arizona. Tell us about your story of arriving in Tucson. We were, dad. well, let's see. We uh, we got to Phoenix. It was 116 degrees, and uh, what time of day was that? It was at 2 p.m. <laughs> and we had to walk across the tarmac into uh, like it didn't taxi all the way up to the thing there, so we had. And I'd never felt the, the sun in Arizona before, or the first time in the Southwest. Literally, the first time in setting foot in the Southwest, I was stepping onto a tarmac in 116-degree heat. Mm. Just, wow. What I mean, kind of shoes were you wearing? Uh, were they rubber? Boots, yeah. Boots? It was like wearing rubber boots. And, yeah, I mean, I just thought, wow, you know, like, mm -hmm. I was literally on fire. Just amazing. And, it's a and slow walk. Yeah. You walk in Arizona. Yeah, I, well, I, I was just like, it, 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 it like hits you in the chest, in the upper chest, and like, <gasps> <sighs> you know, it was, it was really incredible, and then got to Tucson later that night, it was 113 degrees, and got up at 4 a.m., and it was 91 degrees yeah. <laughs> or something, yeah. but so you guys are like uh, desert rats, as you describe yeah, it? Yeah, we are, well, no, we're not. Yes, we are, no, we're not. Mm. We crawl underneath the rock during the day. And then at night Lizards. we come out. Everything is closed, of course, but it's yeah, still fun. Yeah, yeah. It is closed. It's a, it's a quiet little place, Tucson, Arizona. Do you think Arizona. that we'd be smart enough to like, have shops that were open up late at night, 
for those very same reasons, but no. Or even you'd think, right? You'd think, yeah. And oh, people yeah. would just sleep in the day, you know, <laughs> in their air-conditioned uh, hamlets. Mm. So uh, you guys are moving through town. We are. It's nice to be here. We've been staying in Brooklyn at a couple friends' house, J.C. Mm. Hopkins, uh, who's a musician here and playing. Just moved here from San Francisco, and uh, Dan Finn and Sabelle Farat. Ah. Uh, they also play music. Right, and, with uh, you guys. Brooklyn, Jason. you know. What a beautiful place. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you to those guys for their couches and floors, right? Thank you right? so much. <laughs> <laughs> Who, can, you, can you tell me everybody who's in the band? Sure. On drums today, we got Mr. John Convertino. Hey. On the upright bass, all the way from Kassel, Germany, is uh, Volker Zander. Volker Zander. And his uh, compadre on the trumpet and nylon guitar, melodica, is another Germanite. His name is uh, Martin Venk. Mm. And we met these guys over there uh, through uh, the record company, through old, no, no, sorry, uh, City Slang. Christoph Ellinghouse suggested we, you know, come over there and tour with the whole band. Nice. And, uh, of course, I said, well, we can't afford it. He said, well, I got some, <laughs> I got an idea. And that was when we were going to tour with Lamb Chop and Vic Chestnut, which we did. Huh. But the Lamb Choppers suggested that instead of them blowing for three hours every night, we ought to find some other musicians. Right. So Christoph's brother-in-law, Martin, uh, suggested that they uh, do the job. And they right. did a great job, and they wanted to come over here really bad. And so we said, all right, come on over. Bring your sleeping bags and hit the floor. Excellent. And, uh, and also on cornet tonight, we've got uh, Mr. John Birdsong, a great, great musician from San Francisco, who we met playing with Victoria Williams. He also plays with Beck, and uh, he's a fine, fine musician. Ah. And then later on tonight, uh, or these shows here in New York, the New York area, we've also employed musicians from the band Pine Top Seven, Jason really? Natashevitz and Charles Kim. Uh, Are they on, on the bill with you, Pine Top Seven? Yeah, that's a kind of traveling review. Yeah. The booking agency, uh, Billions, yep. so suggested yeah. we all go together. And then also Shannon Wright, we're backing her up. John and I are backing her up. Right. And her cellist, Sabelle Farat Finn, right. who's joining us as well. So it's like, I think, nine people up on stage at one point or another. We had a good show That's last good. night in Hoboken. It was really, really you were good. at Maxwell's? Yeah, Maxwell's. Right. right. Yeah, this is in the future, though. This we is should the say. This so is the future back, now. So it was a nice night. Maxwell's was, Thanks, uh, Maxwell's. It was no less nice, though, just because it was in the past. Yeah. Um, it's, Maxwell's is good again. A good place again. Yeah, here, For a while there, it was good again. it was a dark, terrible, n naughty, <laughs> dirty, icky place. But yeah. <laughs> now it's been restored to uh, coolness. Mm. Um, nice place to play. And uh, Giant Sand just recorded something, right? Uh, it's taken about two years, with. and uh, V2 <laughs> Records is going to be putting it out. I think they're happy with it now. Kevin V2. Salem has helped. Uh, Jim Dickinson has helped as well. John Parrish from uh, the UK has also stepped in to help with cooking up the sauce, and uh, it's called The Chore of Enchantment. It should be out this coming August and September. And OP8. OP8, a new OP8. Um, perhaps with Juliana Hatfield, or maybe, uh, if we're so lucky, uh, some other guests we have invited, and we'll see what happens. Good. And good, good. That's uh, the German guys. They're good. Uh, have a big effect on me. Uh -oh. And Calexico, what, what, what does say the the new? What's yeah, the new we've record? Yeah, we got a uh, an EP coming out. Our friend Howard Grenolds, who mm. works at Thrill Jockey, he used to work at Touch and Go, has his own label called uh, Overcoat Records. Right. He um, he kind of hooked us up uh, with Touch and Go. We put out a single with him a while ago on his All City label. And uh, since then, he's changed the name of the label. And speaking of which, um, I'd like to thank Meg for helping us out. Yes. To set this up. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Very Meg. much appreciate the... But uh, Howard kind of introduced us to uh, Bundy K. Brown. Who right. We enjoyed his work. Yeah. And me we, too. We said, hey, why not do, you know, do a remix or something? Or we'd like to work with you. Maybe this could be a nice opener. So he's done a, a beautiful remix with uh, Doug McCombs and Rob Mazurik, adding some additional... Uh, bass and trumpet. Great. So that should be Great. coming out later this year, along with some other remixes and some other kind of noodlings of the Calexico Black Light session. 
and then also we gave you link. a uh, we gave you guys a copy of our tour only CD, so right. maybe you'll play that this afternoon. On the road, I see only two people. I haven't heard it yet, but there's only two people listed. Are there other players on it as well? Uh, but it's just no, it's you and John. So. I think it's just John and I. Okay, it's just the uh, just duos everywhere. Cool. Yeah, well, but we we'll go in the studio and we add the marimbas, the vibraphone, the cellos, yeah. the mandolins. Yeah, the vibraphone is somebody left it in a club, right? Yeah, it's at Mercury Lounge right now. Okay, ready it was for back ready then. to be uh, <laughs> serviced. Uh, okay, well, thank you, thank, thank you for you coming out, and uh, congratulations thanks for on the new and improved. New FMU. and improved, yeah, new and improved. Forty years, huh? FMU, yeah, we're we're uh, we're convenient to the cappuccino uh, place. Hey, maybe we could know? give you guys some CDs to give away if if anyone's interested. Ooh, we'll give you some of those roadmaps. We'll work that. We'll work on that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we have to. Uh, I, yeah, maybe I can. I can. Um, it's your 40th birthday present. How did you know? I, I read the literature outside there. <laughs> but we're gonna play some other songs here for you, and uh, thanks for having us, Stuart. We're looking forward to it.